Hi, I'm Dennis with Dragon Group China in New York. Hi, it's Ian from Dragon Group Manchester. And we're here to show some features of the brand new Bird 8888. The Bird machine comes with four interchangeable heads. And you've got this one which is fitting now, which is the hot air. And these easy to just disconnect. And then straight away you can swap for, you've got the tubes, infrared. Standard infrared heater, which is the one most commonly used. And then you've got a larger L Stein SHTS 100, which is quite a powerful heater, good for PlayStation 3s and large chips. And then just go over the All parts easy, easily interchangeable. Essentially, what the system does is to eliminate the, the need to pick a certain type of machine. Four different options available for the uh, heating source that you'd like to use. You know, a choice between hot air, uh, tube array, and infrared. First time available ever on the market where all four different types of heaters can be used. Yeah, it's got a nice universal jig as well, which is just, you know, you can adjust that anyway you want. Support clips. And it comes fitting with the Amiga TC, which is an external TC, which is And then you've got the battery pump for removing the chips, which you'll see being worked on in the videos. And we'll, we'll get into dis explaining the, uh, the programmable display for your slopes uh, in another video. But essentially, this is the, the mover of the chips. And you get the chip in line, online, lined up. Right, so we just reattached the Xbox 360 GPU back onto the board using the hot air attachment on the Bird 8888. So on the first part of the profile we do actually start off quite slow on the top and let the bottom heaters crank up so we get the, get the board going and then it'll go on to the next stage then. You can see it's on stage, stage 3 now going up. Now the chips are starting to drop, the balls are melting now. Nice. So what, what I'm going to have to do with this profile, I'm going to stop the profile early because this is actually like, the profile I designed for a lead free chip so I'm stopping it on stage 4. I don't want it, I don't want it to get too hot. That's dropped in nicely. So I'll hit stop. Could have manually stop it. Right? Yeah, no. We're going to keep recording we're going to take the board off the machine and test it all in one step, no cutting away from the video. Right now the cooling fans are running, cooling the board off. Ian just removed the thermal couplers, which are built in now. So all these, I'll just keep checking it, and when it gets down to a reasonable temperature, then I'll test it. Yeah.
So we got all the answer. Just give it a little bit longer to cool down because it, it'll probably give two red lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long. Just going to keep the camera rolling. No cuts. We just want to prove that this is all done in one step. Bad for a first attempt on the first try. Yeah. Using the hot air attachment. First attempt uh, using, like you just said, the uh, Bird eight 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 hot air attachment. The first try, try, we successful re uh, chip install. Happy with that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <Yeah. laughs>